just want to ask you what you think now of punk compared to when you came out with punk. Well, punk didn't exist when we came out, and now it's some sort of commodity. Yeah, it's I don't know if punk really exists anymore. anymore. You can't no. really take what original punk was no. out of the time and the place. Yeah. But you can have that kind of spirit, which I think lots of kids are trying to do. So I think it's harder now because there's so much. When we started, there was four weekly music magazines, yeah. and there was no internet. And people who were really keen on music used to queue up at Tottenham Court Road yeah, and wait yeah, yeah. for the first edition to come out, find mm -hmm. out what was going on. You really had to kind of make an effort to find yeah. out what was going on. And now it's just, you yeah, know, it's in, in your, your pocket, you know. And it, I think people get a bit. Not people in bands are trying hard, but. I know what you mean, yeah. I wouldn't say punters, but people who go to gigs, they're a bit more kind of. Flipping about it, yeah. and I don't think you get the passion of the fans, and I think that doesn't help the bands. It's trying to help them start out. Is that the same with the music industry, like compared to what it was back then? Do I don't know anything about the music industry. There's musicians, and there's the music industry, yeah. and there's not much interface. Yeah, there's a few clever clubs kind of managed to yeah. straddle it. I've never managed to do that, and I'm too old to <laughs> bother out. You still enjoying it though? I like playing. I mean, I'm very fortunate. I've just got back from. South America I played over there, yeah. I played at the Rock and Rio Festival and then I went to Argentina and played with an Argentinian band who were very good, who learnt my songs. And then I went to Paraguay and did a set like that and had all the Paraguayans singing along with me, even though they can't sing it. <laughs>